Intel had their event last week going over their Intel Raptor Lake processors. This is a quick overview of everything that you need to know about the current processors, their pricing, their efficiency, and as well as their performance. Intel's 13th generation i9 is coming out on 1020, up to 24 performance and efficiency cores, 15% better single threaded performance, 41% better multi-threaded performance, 15% better single threaded performance, 41% better multi-threaded performance, none of which was explained was which one it was actually compared to. I assume this was compared to their last generation, which was their 12th generation. That's an assumption because the graph did not show that. Up to 5.8 gigahertz speed, that's their max speed. Improved P-Core cache architecture and double E cores. So what does this mean? P-Cores are performance cores, which are your main threaded tasks. Your E cores are your efficiency cores. These are more of your background tasks. These also use less power than your original P cores. E cores are supported in Windows 10, 21H2 version. If you're gonna be using the 13th generation Intel processors, I would recommend that you're at least on Windows 10, 21H2. You could check this in your Windows system information. If you're on Windows 11, the efficiency is a little bit better on Windows 11 and it does give you a little bit better performance. Your E cores will show a little bit better performance on Windows 11. It's very minimal. So if you're still on Windows 10, it's okay. Motherboards will also still support PCIe Gen 5.0 support. They will also still have DDR5 RAM support. I'm only gonna give you the pricing that was not actually in the event. I'm gonna give you the real world pricing because Intel gives you the pricing that's at bulk rates. I prefer to actually give you the cost that it's actually going to cost you from Newegg or from Micro Center or whomever. These are prices from Newegg. So this is on a pre-order basis, obviously, since they're not out until 1020. If you wanna pre-order, real pricing from Newegg is as follows. Intel i9-13900K is $659.99. Intel i7-13700K is $449.99. Intel i7-13700KF is $429.99. Intel i5 is 13600K at $329.99. Intel i5 13600KF is $309.99. Intel's events always give the bulk rate pricing. The bulk rate pricing means that that is hundreds to thousands of processors purchased at one time given to retailers so that they can sell them out at their store. The prices I just gave you are actually going to be MSRP. Those are the prices that are actually going to come out from the vendor. Motherboard availability will be available in different price ranges from about $179 to $500. That are, those are brand new motherboards that are supporting the 13th gen as well as any you know previous gen. They did not change the socket, so the socket is still an LGA 1700 socket, which most manufacturers of motherboards are actually going to support the 13th gen processor with a BIOS upgrade. As an example, the ASRock Z69M-ITX slash AX already has a new BIOS that supports the 13th gen processor. If you have a newer motherboard that does support this socket, it might be able to just drop the processor in as an upgrade with just a quick BIOS upgrade before you do that. We do recommend that you back up your BIOS and that you do have an older copy of a BIOS just in case you go over to the new 13th gen processor and it is not such a uh, great experience. But that's all you really need to know about the Intel 13th gen processor. Uh, please sound off in the comments below what you think. Are you going Intel or are you going AMD? Uh, why and why not? And um, we'll see you in the next one.